Hey friends, this is Shaz and welcome back to the Ministry of Reviews. In this video today, I will review the most powerful car media adapter from the famous CarLinkit brand. This is the CarLinkit Ultra model. This model runs on the latest Android 13 operating system with 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage that can be expanded with a memory card. It also comes with a SIM card slot so you can insert a data SIM card to enjoy internet or you can connect it with your mobile's hotspot. Now let's first do a quick unboxing to see what comes inside the box. This comes in this black box, let's open it. And what you get inside the box is this uh, CarLinkit Ultra adapter. And we'll come back to this in a while. Let's check out the other contents in the box. So you get a user manual. Then you get two cables. These are the cables that connect this adapter with uh, your car. Um, and uh, this is a type C to type C. And this is a type C to type A. Depending on the connection in your car, you would need to use one of these. I've got a type C connection, so I'll use this cable to connect this adapter in my car. All right, now let's have a closer look uh, at this uh, adapter. Now, I like to call these as car media adapters. Uh, these are also known as CarPlay AI Box. Uh, but basically, this is an adapter uh, that converts your car screen into a full Android tablet. Um, now, this can be used with both Android mobiles as well as with iPhones. Uh, it's a very, very small, um, very lightweight and compact device. It's very slim as well. And uh, it's got uh, the name of the brand mentioned right at the top. You've got two LED indicators. In terms of the connections, you've got a slot for the TF card, a connection for the Type-C cable, and then a SIM card slot here as well. So in terms of the connections, very basic. It's a basic adapter, uh, you know, standard squarish design, very, very lightweight. Uh, now let me take this out to my car. I'll connect it and then we start testing the different functions and features of this new CarLinkit Ultra car media adapter. So keep watching, guys. All right, friends, so I'm in my car. I've got the device uh, with me here. Uh, now I'll connect this uh, with my screen here. Uh, but at the same time, what I'll do is actually time the startup speed. So I've got my stopwatch ready here as well. So now let me connect this with the system of my car. There you go. Let's start the timer. All right, so about 35, 36 seconds. All right, so this is the main landing page or the home page of Android 13 operating system. Uh, it's a very user-friendly layout. Uh, so you've got uh, some of the shortcuts appearing on the left side. So you've got time, connectivity. I've inserted my data SIM card. So that's why the 4G is active. You can connect it with your mobile hotspot as well. Uh, you've got some of the icons appearing here. These are the ones that were last used. You've got this uh, bottom left button. This takes you back to the home page. We're already on the home page, but if you're on a different screen, click on this. It brings you back on the main home page. Now on the main screen area, you've got some of the applications that are pre-installed on this device uh, appearing one by one and you swipe left, you get to see more of them. Now these are all the pre-installed applications, but as I said earlier, this device comes with 128 gigs of uh, internal storage and uh, you can also insert a memory card. You can go to Play Store and install more applications if you want. You can also go to the APK installer and more and add more uh, uh, in apps if you if you like. Uh, but this is a very simple standard layout. You get to see all the different applications when you swipe to the left. Um, so what we will do now in this video is start testing some of the functions and features of this device. Uh, the first thing I would like to actually show you is uh, the internet connectivity through the data SIM card. So I've already inserted a data SIM card. You see the 4G uh, signal is active. I just want to test if the 4G is actually working. So let's play something on YouTube. All right, so the 4G connection is working. Uh, as you can see, this is uh, YouTube. So it's basically connected with the 4G data SIM card I've inserted. All right, so the other way to connect this is basically go to the Wi-Fi 
uh, on in the settings click on the Wi-Fi and then look for your internet uh, mobiles hotspot connect it and then it will be good to go so two ways to connect this device with internet one is either insert a data sim card like i've done or you can connect it with your mobile's hotspot it's a very simple process all right friends so i've removed the data sim card uh, i wanted to test the wi-fi connectivity as well uh, as you can see it's uh, connected the signal is active and uh, we will test a few uh, of the applications to see if, uh, if the wi-fi connectivity is working so in order to test the performance of this carlinkit ultra i'll start testing uh, some of the frequently used applications and the functionality of, uh, of a CarPlay media adapter. So the first thing I would like to test is actually YouTube. All right, so YouTube is playing fine. Um, now, as you can see, audio and video is in sync. Let me increase the volume. And now you can actually use the, use the steering wheel controls to control the video. I'm increasing the volume through the steering wheel controls. More than $300 in the market. As many of you would know, Super Bowl so, is a very well-known name. As you can see, audio, video completely in sync. And this is a 4K video. Um, uh, we can go and uh, change the resolution. It's a 4K video. So we can change the resolution on this uh, YouTube application up to 4K. So YouTube is working perfectly fine on this Carlinkit Ultra adapter. All right, now let's test the navigation on this. So I'll go to the Waze app. This is a pre-installed app. If you want to install a different navigation app, you can simply go to the Play Store and do that. Uh, so let's resume this. All right, so navigation is active, working. Now this device comes in with a built-in GPS uh, system. Uh, so you can certainly use the navigation. It's quite responsive quite nice um, and the other nice thing about this device is this option called split screen now that option allows you to have two different applications running side by side so you know you can um, follow the navigation on the left side while your family watches some video content on the right side and and it's a simple process so you're in navigation now let's go back to this mini menu click on this split screen option and here you just need to click on the Waze logo, select split left and select the other app that you want to run on the right side. There you go. So you have navigation running on the left side and then the YouTube video playing on the right side. And this is definitely one of my favorite feature in, in this device. All right, so there's so many other uh, video streaming uh, apps that you can uh, play on this uh, device. Now, the next thing I would like to test is actually uh, the video playback uh, through the SD card content. Now, I've inserted an SD memory card and uh, we'll just go to the file explorer and uh, play a video file that I have stored on the SD card. All right, so this is a 4K. This is a very heavy 4K file that I have on the SD card. And as you can see, this device is playing the 4K file uh, quite nicely. Absolutely no disturbance, no lag, no buffering. Uh, increase the volume through the steering wheel controls. You can skip scenes as well. So you can just skip it and you can see it doesn't take time to skip the scene and and as i always say one way to test the performance or the speed of any uh, such carplay adapter is to skip scenes on these video streaming apps whether it's youtube whether it's a video playback or any other app so for example if you skip scenes it doesn't take any time it's instant all right, friends, so now let's test the, the all important wireless CarPlay functionality. So we click on this AutoKit icon. Next step is to go on your iPhone, open the Bluetooth and look for a new device called AutoKit T-Box Plus. There you go. So click on this, pair the device, allow it to sync contacts and favorites and then click on use CarPlay. That's it. So it's a simple process and you have to just establish the connection once and then every time you switch on the car, uh, the system will automatically take you to the home page of CarPlay like this.
So it's a very, very simple, easy uh, setup process. And this is the main homepage of Apple CarPlay. Uh, you get to see all the different apps that are installed and compatible with the CarPlay on your mobile. Uh, you've got the split screen view here. You get to see the shortcut of the, navig uh, of the icons here. You've got navigation right in the middle. Then you've got the, the uh, calendar, you've got media and so on. So, you know, this is a very, very quick connection with the CarPlay. Um, and I will not explain the different functions and features of CarPlay. Uh, but if you want to know more about it, you can go and watch my other videos. Um, you can go back to Car to the main Android uh, system and then click on this that takes you back to the home page of Apple CarPlay. So it's a very easy switch between Apple CarPlay home page and the Android system home page. So you click on car, go back to the Android system and you click one more time, click on this car and brings back to the original system of this car. And if you want to go back to the Android system, click on this. You want to go back to the Apple CarPlay, click on this. It takes you to the home page of Apple CarPlay. So that's a very quick and easy process. All right, friends. So now let's uh, test uh, the wireless Android auto connection. So we click on the auto kit again. Now on this, on your Android mobile, I've got my Samsung here. Uh, just go to the Bluetooth section and look for a new device. You might need to scan it. There you go. So click on this and then pair the device. That's it. So the Android auto connection is very simple and quick. Uh, it's uh, probably five seconds quicker than connecting to the Apple CarPlay system. So that's it. Again, one time setup. Uh, you just need to establish the connection between your Android mobile and the device once. And then every time you switch on the car, it takes you to the home page of uh, Android Auto. Uh, that would look like this. Here you go. So this is the main landing page of Android Auto. It uh, actually takes you to the navigation uh, home page and you can see it's it's quite nice and responsive. You can click on this icon gives you a split screen view. So you've got the media running on the right side. You've got navigation in the middle and you've got some shortcut icons here. So you have uh, again map. You can have this voice assistant control on this uh, device. So both on the Apple CarPlay you can use Siri for voice assistant on uh, Android Auto, you can use the Google Voice Assistant, you can make calls. If you click on this button, it takes you to the full view of all the applications uh, available for uh, on Android Auto. Uh, and you can see all of these, you can change the look and feel, go to the settings, change the wallpaper and icons and everything. Uh, you click on the exit button, brings you back to the home page of the Android system. And once you click on the auto kit here, it takes you back to the home page of Android Auto system like this. So again, very easy way to switch between the Android auto system and uh, the Android operating system on this device. All right, so now I'll test uh, my favorite application, which is a live TV app. Uh, this is the one. Now, obviously, uh, you can install the app, but uh, you need to buy a package to uh, activate on this application. I've just taken a test package to see if the live TV is working on this device. So let's uh, check out a few channels. All right, so the live TV seems to be working perfectly fine. I'm, I'm quite impressed with this. Uh, it loads quite quickly and doesn't take much time when you move from one channel to another. It's very, very uh, fast and instant. So, and as you can see, the quality is, uh, is quite nice. This is all ultra HD. Uh, so quite happy with the, with the live TV application test on this device. That's it, friends. This was a quick review of this latest and the most powerful CarPlay media adapter from the famous CarLinkit brand. If you're looking for an affordable, powerful and a durable car media adapter, then I would highly recommend this model. And if you're interested, just go to the link in the description of this video. It takes you directly to the CarLinkit official store where you can buy this amazing CarLinkit Ultra CarPlay adapter. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching this video.